Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays. And it's been a while since I've been able to say that. So uh, things went sideways for a little bit. Uh, beginning of June for my birthday, one of the things that I really wanted to do was play a round of Hero Quest. So Kickstarter came in, I had a bunch of stuff, been sitting on it for a while. So I convinced I've got four kids and my wife. I got the whole Hero Quest thing out and we did a playthrough. And I should have read a little bit more because the first scenario that you have in there is pretty rough and it didn't go so well. So um, Hero Quest was kind of a bust. But after that, just ran into the summer. So it was, uh, we had like Boy Scout camp, band camp. Uh, it just seemed to be one thing after another and wasn't able to put my recording area back together but i've got it back together now so we're gonna play some marvel champions finally it's been a while um and we've got spider out on the table here so uh we've got penny parker so if you take a look at penny parker there she's got psychogenic compatibility uh, put the spider suit into play inactive side face up and then she's got an alter ego action of exhaust spider suit draw two cards she's got a whopping 14 hit points but a measly hand size of four so she comes into play with the spider suit and there's our spider suit right there um so permanent card printed text box cannot be treated as if it were blank and then she's got to return to base, force interrupt. When you flip to this side, flip spider to Penny Parker, detach Penny Parker from here, moving all counters on her and cards attached to her to this card. All right, so other stuff that we've got. When Penny Parker transforms, she goes over to spider and she becomes an interface card and a pilot. So permanent, this card's printed text box cannot be treated as if it were blank. Suit up, forced interrupt. When you flip to this side, flip spider suit to its active side. Attach this card to the spider suit, moving all counters on this card or cards attached to this card to spider suit. So then we've got a spider suit at that point in time. Oh, sorry, wrong side. Let's flip her on over. There we go. That's the spider suit. All right. Two thwart, two attack, two defense, active web warrior. We've got sync ratio, exhaust and interface upgrade you control, generate that upgrades resources. So pretty cool there. Um, so we've got spider suit and we've got our interface there. And if you notice, if you up generate that upgrades resources, she generates a wild resource. So that's pretty cool. All right. So let's get ready to play here. We're gonna have Penny Parker out there. She's got full recovery, by the way. And then we are on our spider suit and active side up. Now, strangely, we're going against Rhino and he's got his 14 hit points. We got our break in out there. Um, no threat there, 14 hit points, number one and two. So standard Rhino, I think we're ready to go at this point in time. So we're gonna draw up to uh, Penny Parker's hand size, which is four. So one, two, three, four. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got uh, Energy Barrier, Limitless Stamina, which is a new card with this set, Web Trap, and Venom. Ooh, Venom's really good. But this early on, he's not that great because you kind of want to build before you get Venom out. So let's take a look at our Web Trap. Web Trap is Hero Action, deal five damage to an enemy. If you paid for this card using a resource generated by spider suit sync ratio stun that enemy all right we have limitless stamina which is a play only if your identity has at least 14 printed hit points hero action ready your hero so one cost to ready your hero uh, this is a great card for some of those uh decks out there that were kind of on the uh let's just say hulk so um nice card for a lot of other decks out there uh Venom. So we've got Venom, four cost ally. He's an awesome card because he's going to get plus one thwart and plus one attack for each sim counter on her. So hero response after Venom enters play, place one sim counter on her for each resource generated by Spider Suit's sync ratio ability to pay for her. So she can be super powerful. 
Um, but we need a bunch of stuff out there first before she gets really powerful. So um, energy barriers from the basic set. Ideally, you know what energy barrier does. I'm not going to cover that one. So let's see here. Things that I'm probably not going to do is I'm not going to play Venom. Um, would be nice, but we'll go ahead. Cycle Venom. Energy barrier is kind of a maybe. Probably not because I'm probably going to drop two for the web trap. So we're going to actually we'll hold on to the energy barrier because I think what we're going to do is use Penny Parker's ability to draw two cards. All right, so we're going to draw another card. Oh, another energy barrier, just what we didn't need, but we can use it for resources. All right, so we're going to begin the game now. We've got our hand. We did our mulliganing. We're going to go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Penny Parker's ability. There's his alter ego action, exhaust the spider suit to draw two cards. So we're going to draw up two cards. So one, two. All right, so we got a repurpose, which is a card I like a lot. When I start looking at uh, Iron Man and kind of the, the Tech Nova Iron Man, repurpose looks pretty awesome. So hero action, discard a tech upgrade you control, ready your hero, and choose thwart, attack, or defense until the end of the round. Your hero gets plus X to the chosen power, where X is equal to that upgrade's printed cost. So uh, I think like Iron Man and his multiple rocket boots, or you can really boost him by doing his armor to get a pretty big attack. Like, that's going to be good in your Iron Man deck. It's, it's pretty good in this one, but it's going to be really good in Iron Man. Uh, all systems go. So we've got hero action. Choose ready each interface upgrade you control or search your deck and discard pile for an interface upgrade and add it to your hand. Shuffle. All right. So uh, we want to get going here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to go over to our hero side in order to do the things that we want to do. So we're going to flip over Penny Parker here. She's going to go hero. Says when you flip to this side, flip spider suit to its active side, attach this to the spider suit and all counters and stuff move over there. All right. So we got our spider suit out as our hero, but it's exhausted at this point in time. That's kind of lame, but um, to get the extra two cards, I think it was worth it because what we're going to do is we're going to, I think we're going to use our hero action here. Uh, we will spend one. Ooh, do we do that or do we get an energy barrier out? I think maybe getting an energy barrier out is the better thing to do. So we're going to exhaust spider which is an interface it says exhaust an interface upgrade you control generate the upgrade resource so we're going to get a wild from that we'll get a we'll use our repurpose to generate two to do a web trap so web trap is going to deal five damage to an enemy if you paid for it using a, a resource generated by our sync ratio stun that enemy so we're going to do five to rhino and stun him so let's flip that down Boop. And where's my status cards? Let's throw a stun on the rhino. All right. Now, got to figure out if we get the all systems go out there, or I think energy barrier is where we want to go. So let's take a limitless stamina and one of our energy barriers to put our other energy barrier out there, right? So energy barrier is going to... When you would take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter from here, prevent one, deal one to an enemy. All right, so we put an energy barrier out there. We're going to give it three reflection counters to one. Get a little bit of our defense going there. And I think we're going to hold on to our all systems go at this point in time. All right, so we're going to be done. We're going to unexhaust our spider suit. We're going to draw back up to our hand size of three, which is kind of painful. Two, three. We got another repurpose, and we have Spider-Man Auto Octavius. So there we go. Play only if you control a web warrior, which Spider Suit is a web warrior. Uh, after you play Spider-Man from your hand, ready an upgrade you control. If that upgrade has the tech trait, draw one card. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those out there quite yet, so 
not as awesome right now. All right, so we're going to go over the villain's turn. Top of the villain's turn. Let's see if I remember this right. Uh, one threat on the main scheme. Rhino is going to see the spider suit out there, and he would normally attack, but he doesn't because he's stunned. And then we're going to draw an encounter card. So our encounter card is... Boom. Our obligation, not a good way to start the game. So uh, it says you can flip to alter ego form, choose exhaust Penny Parker, remove inherited burden from the game, choose and discard one interface, upgrade your control, discard this obligation. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to Penny Parker, which is going to flip our suit, and then we're going to exhaust her and remove this from the game so penny parker is exhausted all right but we get that out of the game all right so villain phase is done we've completed the round we're back up to the top and we're at the hero phase so hero phase what are we going to do here so we might as well use our alter ego action exhaust our suit and draw two cards So we're going to get a Spider Tingle and Spider Command, which is a location. All right, so Spider Tingle says, Interrupt when you would reveal an encounter card. Deal one damage to a Web Warrior character you control. If that card is a treachery, cancel its when revealed effect and discard Spider Tingle. All right, what I'm more interested in really is Spider Command. So Hero Action, Exhaust Spider Command and an Interface Upgrade Draw Card. Hero ex action, exhaust spider command, choose and discard one card from your hand, ready and interface. All right. The supports that we get here for our spider are pretty nice. All right. So what are we going to go with here? Our Odo Octavius isn't going to do us a whole lot of good. I think we are going to go ahead and flip on over to our spider suit. All right, so we've got our suit. Do we do our all systems go? Well, I think we want to get our spider command out there. So we're going to use our repurpose to put spider command out there. Um, I don't have an interface upgrade I can exhaust to do the first hero action. And the second one I could use to ready that interface, but it doesn't do me a whole lot of good because I could then exhaust her to get a resource, but I might as well spend from the thing in order to get the resource. So I'm not going to do that. All right. What I am going to do is I'm going to use Spider-Man here. We're going to get rid of him to play All Systems Go. In All Systems Go, we're going to use the Search Your Deck and Discard Pile for an interface upgrade and add it to my hand. So we're going to go looking for one of our interfaces. So I think I'm going to get a cheap one at this point in time. Let's go with this one, right? Ooh, do we go with this one? Yeah, we'll go with... We'll go with our ejection protocol. We're gonna start using it to generate resources, right? Oh wait, that's a tactic. Wrong. We want, we're gonna go with speed metal alloy. All right, when Spider Suit defends against an attack, he's off Speed Metal Alloy. It gets plus two for that defense. All right. So we're going to grab that one. We're going to use our Spider Tingle to play our Speed Metal Alloy. All right, we're going to be done. So we're going to unexhaust our cards. And draw back up to our wonderful hand size of three. So one, two, three. All right. New card here. We have Unshakable. This is a new crowd favorite. So play only if your identity has 14 printed hit points. Your identity gains steady. Requires two status cards of the same type to be stunned or confused. That's a nice card, in my opinion. All right, we also have Spider Ham. So Spider Ham costs three. Play only if you control a Web Warrior card. Force response after Spider Ham attacks or thwarts. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. For each boost icon discarded this way, deal one damage to Spider Ham. All right, so that's not a bad uh, one to have in this, but uh, there's a lot of decks that's going to chew up Spider Ham pretty quickly. So 
All right. Let's see here. So we've drawn our cards. We're going to go on over to the villain's turn. So first thing, we're going to put two or one on the main scheme, which moves it up to two. Then Rhino's going to come attack us in the spider suit. Now, I could defend against that, but I think I want to take a little bit of damage here. So we're going to go ahead and let him attack. He's attacking for two. We're going to get a boost. We get a boost of two, so he hits us for four. So normally we would take four, but we have our energy barrier in play. So instead, what's going to happen is we will take three. And one is going to get reflected back to him. So he's down to eight. All right. At that point in time, we're going to draw our encounter card. Encounter card is... Uh, I'm tough. When revealed, give Rhino a tough status card. If he has one, this gains Surge. It's got to bring it down there. All right, so Rhino's going to get a tough status card. End of Rhino's turn. We're back over to the hero turn. Okay, one of the things... Well, that would let me ready an interface card. That doesn't do me a whole lot. I think what I'm going to do is... Hmm. So the tough part here is Exhaust Spider Command in the interface card, draw a card. So I could do these two to draw a card. Do I want to do that or use my all systems go to go after a card in the deck and then potentially use, I can use both of these cards to help generate resources. I think that's the better thing. So I'm going to use spider ham to pay for all systems go. And I'm going to use the second part of that, which has search your deck and discard pile for an interface upgrade, add it to my hand. So we're going to go after another interface upgrade. All right, so at this point in time, we have our web fluid, and I think we've got our thwarting one, which is that one right there, the psychic link. And oh, that's the other one is our host spider, which lets us exhaust to ready our spider suit, which is pretty huge. Um, if I go grab that one, I can pay for it by using Unshakable. I think we're going to do that. All right, so we're going to shuffle this up. And grab that card. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to exhaust. We're going to use our sync ratio. It says exhaust interface card you control. Generate the upgrade resources. We're going to generate a wild there. We're going to generate... Oop, we're going to do our speed metal alloy to generate a physical. We're going to use unshakable. That's going to get us up to three. So we can play our host spider. All right, at this point in time... Uh, we'll go ahead and attack with spider suit. We're going to attack for two. It's going to get rid of the tough. Then we're going to exhaust our host spider to ready our spider suit. And then we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to attack again. I'm going to knock him down to six. All right. I was kind of debating whether I should take some of the thwart off here. Hopefully... We don't get an advance next turn and have it cause us problems. All right, so we're going to be done. Do do. Going to ready our cards. We're drawing back up to our hand size of three. So we have uh, Aunt May, Uncle Ben, a repurpose, and our web fluid compressor. So things to look at Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Action exhaust Aunt May, Uncle Ben. Discard the top two cards of your deck. Top three, if you're in alter ego form, add each spider card discarded this way to your hand. All right, and we've got a repurpose, which we've seen already. 
and we have our web fluid compressor. When spider suit makes a basic attack, exhaust web fluid compressor, it gets plus two for that attack. All right, plus it's another thing that we can use to generate resources, so that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go to the villain's turn. So villain's turn, one threat on the main scheme. Rhino is gonna see spider suit out there. He's gonna come to attack. He's attacking for two. He's gonna boost and get one. So he's gonna attack for three. Our energy barrier is gonna bounce one back. So we take two and he takes one. All right, we're gonna draw our encounter card. Encounter card is, uh, boom, Ooh, charge. Ooh, attach to Rhino when Rhino attacks. He's gonna get overkill and plus three attack. So, uh, got a big attack getting ready there. And that's a little bit on the scary side. But that's the end of the villain's turn. We're over to the hero turn. All right, so what are we gonna do on the hero side? I would really like to get Aunt May and Uncle Ben out there. Uh, that's going to help me cycle through cards. I, I've already lost Venom and some other stuff. Would be nice to get those cards back. Um, let's see here. Also, we could, if we want to do a lot of damage, the repurpose at this point in time, along with the host spider, lets us churn out a good amount of damage. The other possibility is we... Uh, go over to Alter Ego, get some cards, hopefully get some stuff to do more damage to Rhino because that charge is going to hurt when it hits. We do have 14 hit points. We're down to five, so we could probably take the charge. But uh, it would be nice to be at full health when we, when we get hit by that. All right. Um, also, we could help cushion that with our speed metal alloy and doing a defend. Maybe that's the better idea is defending against that big attack that comes in. All right. Let's see. How do we want to play this one? So I think we want to get our web fluid compressor out there. So we're going to exhaust our speed metal alloy for a resource and we're going to exhaust spider for a resource to play our web fluid compressor. All right. We are going to exhaust Spider to thwart for two. Take that down to one. All right, now we're going to use our host Spider, which allows you to ready Spider Suit. Then going to use our Web Fluid Compressor, and we will attack with the Spider Suit. So we're going to do a total of four. We're going to knock him down to one. So he's just on the edge of going out. All right. At that point, we're going to use our repurpose to bring Aunt May and Uncle Ben into play. Uh, do I want to? We'll go ahead and do that. We'll discard the top two. One. Two, and I keep any spider cards, no spider cards in there. Now, I did get Daredevil. That's a new card. Let's show that one off real fast. So, after Daredevil defends against an attack, move one damage from him to the attacking enemy. So, Daredevil costs two, uh, two thwart with two consequential, and one attack with one consequential and three health. So, all right. All right, so that's going to be the end of our turn there. Gonna unexhaust all of the stuffs, which there's a lot of them there. Now we're gonna go ahead and stay. We've decided to stay suit, and I think we're gonna defend is what we're gonna do. All right, um, villain's turn. First thing on the villain's turn, one threat on the main scheme. Rhino's got that big attack with the charge. He's gonna come at us with this in the spider suit. We're gonna defend against that, and we're gonna exhaust our speed metal alloy. So we're going to have two, four defense, and he's got five incoming. So he's got five plus none. So he's going to hit us for one, and our energy barrier is going to reflect that one back and actually knock him over. Oh, that's bad. That's going to knock him over to Rhino 2. All right, so he's going to come in Rhino 2. He's going to come in with 15 hit points. Now, the bad side of that is I should have thought of that when 
Rhino 2 comes in, we need our break in and take in, and it hasn't hit yet, so we're going to end up drawing two cards. That's the bad part of that. All right, so let's find our break in and take in. Put it into play, advance, and we've got two advances in there where there's our break in and take in. All right, it's going to come into play with three on it. Two, three. All right, the problem is we haven't drawn our encounter cards and we're gonna get our bonus encounter card right there. So we're gonna get two cards. Good news is uh, we shrugged off Rhino's attack. All right, so let's draw our encounter cards. We're gonna get two of them. Ooh, see how this goes. So encounter card number one, <laughs> Shadows of the Past. Uh, now we're gonna get our Nemesis minion, put it into play engaged with you. And reveal our oh, yuck, 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 yuck. All right. So what's our nemesis minion right here? Morbius. Uh, force response after the engaged shield generates any number of resources. Deal an equal amount of damage to that hero. Uh, ouch. K. Okay. So we've got Morbius out there. And he's going to come into play with giant monster attack as an additional cost to thwart the scheme you must spend a energy resource all right yeah okay things not going well uh, then we have our energy drains are going to go into the deck all right i'm going to draw one more All right, it's somewhat entertaining because it's going badly for me. It was looking pretty good, and then that hit. So, um, ouch. Oh, I forgot to draw my hand size, too. I should be up to a hand size of three. All right. Boop. Okay. Uh, we have a false alarm. When revealed, you are confused. If you're already confused, discard gain search. I am not confused, so I will get confused. And I am kind of confused because all this stuff is going on. And it's going badly for me. All right. Over to the hero turn. We did defend with our spider suit. So spider suit is exhausted going into this along with our speed metal alloy. All right, so <laughs> the best thing to do would be take Rhino out this turn. I do not think that that's happening. Uh, so I could use, so this rapid deployment that I've got looks kind of nice. Says remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for this card using resources generated by spider suit sync ratio ability, remove three threat from a scheme. So that could be quite handy at this point in time. Problem is that it's a thwart action. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use our host spider to ready our spider suit. Our spider suit is going to thwart and because it's confused, that ends up being a big fail. All right, now we're going to, unfortunately, we're going to take some damage because we're going to we have our force response after the engaged hero generates any number of resources deal an equal amount of damage to that hero um so we're going to generate two so we're going to take two damage so one from there and then we're going to use one from our web fluid compressor. And we're going to play a rapid deployment. So what we get there is remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for this card using a resource generated by spider suit sync ratio, remove three threat from a scheme. So we're going to take three threat off of breaking and taking. Make that go away. And then, so do we take three threat off of the break-in or three threat off of giant monster attack? I have to spend a 
oh, I can't because it's got our icon on there. Um, and I have to spend an energy in order to take that out. Hmm. Trying to think about how I make that potentially work. As an additional cost to thwart that scheme, you must spend an energy resource. I hadn't thought about that when I played that out. So I think what we're going to do is we will use our psychic link, which means we take another damage because we had to spend that. We'll use the energy from here, the psychic link, plus the generated resource in order to pay for that. Essentially, we're just shuffling around the cost of that because I forgot about that piece of it. All right, so that allows us to drop this down to one. Okay, we can exhaust Ant-Man Uncle Ben. Probably should have done that at the beginning. I discarded the top two cards of my deck. I get to keep any spider cards, which are neither of those. Hmm. I think we're going to do our spider command over here. It says exhaust spider command. It says choose and discard one card from your hand. We're going to get rid of our limitless stamina. Ready an interface upgrade. So we've got an interface upgrade, which is our host spider. We will then use our host spider to ready our spider suit. We will exhaust our spider suit. To get rid of our giant monster attack. We're going to thwart the rest of that off of there. Okay. So we're at eight. Things aren't looking great at this point in time. I think we're going to go ahead and flip on over to Penny Parker at this point. All right. Hopefully we don't scheme out. It's going to be kind of close because he's going to generate one. He's going to generate two, three. We're going to have four on there. Oof. It's going to depend on the flip, I think. All right, so we're going to be done. I'm going to unexhaust all of our stuff. I'm going to draw back up to our hand size of four. So one, two, three, four. All right, so we've got Spider Man Noir, which is another new card. So X is equal to the number of face down cards attached to Spider Man Noir. Response After resolve a treachery, if you control another Web Warrior card, attach that treachery face down here to a maximum of three. All right, and he costs three, and he's got a health of three. All right, so that is the end of my turn. We're over to the villain's turn. So what's gonna happen on the villain's turn? One threat on the main scheme. Rhino is gonna see Penny Parker out there. So he's gonna scheme. He's scheming for one and he's gonna get a bonus of one. So he's gonna get a bonus of two. Ugh. All right, so that's gonna push him up to five and then Morbius is gonna scheme and that's gonna get him up to seven. All right, so at that point in time, Rhino wins. Penny Parker is defeated. So let's see what our card was. We would have gotten a bomb scare. Yeah, we got the loss there. Would we have been able to come back? Let's say we would have had one threat. We would have had um, four cards. What would, we, what would we have done potentially? Um, we would have would we exhausted Penny Parker, probably exhausted Penny Parker. Gotten two cards, a Thwip Thwip, and a Limitless Stamina. Flipped on over to Spider. What I really would have liked would have been a repurpose, but we wouldn't have got there. We would have had to do some thwarting off of the break-in. Uh, we would have had, no, we would need to take Morbius out because we were hurting pretty bad. So there would have been two, 
four, probably ready ourselves back up, hit him again. That would have done our six. That would have taken him out. At that point in time, we could have played things. So uh, we could have done things like our web trap, just get Rhino. Yeah, if we would have had one more threat, we would have been all right. So, all right. First playthrough in a while of Marvel Champions. Taking a look at our spider against Rhino. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. You know, it's been a while since I played. Not that that's an excuse I can use for the other times when I miss something. But, um, you know, uh, let me know in the comments below if I miss something. I do like the spider suit. I do like all the interface upgrades that are out there. There's lots of cool stuff. Um, Venom is a very nice card if it's not one of the first cards that you get. Uh, ideally, you get her later on in play. Uh, is there anything else that we missed out on? Oh, we didn't see any of these, so we didn't see any force field generators. So get six energy counters, and then when you would take any amount of damage, remove that many energy counters from here. For each energy counter removed, prevent one damage. So a little way to block some damage. And I think there's one more card that we didn't see out of here. Let's see. Well, we kind of looked at it, but I didn't look at it too long. It's the ejection protocol. So ejection protocol says, discard ejection protocol, exhaust each interface you control, set your hit point dial to six, give your identity a tough status card, flip to alter ego form. So you kind of pop Benny Parker out of the uh, spider suit, uh, potentially move your hit point dial back up to six and get a tough status card. So that wouldn't have done me any good in this case. If I had it, I might have used it to uh i would have stayed another round as mm, no i don't know that i would have stayed another round as spider it would kind of tough because the amount of damage i would have taken from an attack probably would have put me down also because i didn't i only had uh six left so taking a good attack there's five just in the amount of attack that they would have done i could have defended that would have helped um would have been a tough round so anyway there we go. Uh, glad to be back. Do another one of these spider versus rhino and see how that plays out. But that's it for now. And thanks for watching.